three Outlander teaser. It was barely enough to whet the appetite of even a mildest Outlander fan, but Star treated its subscribers Sunday to a short teaser from season four that's currently in production in Scotland. The scene is from the first episode, shot last October, that's also featured in Drums of Autumn, the fourth book in Diana Gabaldon's best-selling series on which the season is based. In this excerpt, Claire Catry Annabelle and Jamie Sam who fan are traveling in a horse-drawn carriage at night when a band of red coats stop to inquire about their night travels. What is it that brings you out so perilously late? Asks one British shoulder. The family matter, Claire replies. What have you in the wagon? The soldier continues. Nothing of worth, Jamie says, adding that it's just venison, oats, and, the ham, the corpse. Jamie explains they are transporting one of the men that was hanged this afternoon while Claire adds they are taking him for a proper burial with his kinsman. Suspicious, the soldier orders a fellow red coat to confirm that it's indeed the corpse. He's ordered to stab at the body, much to the chagrin of Jamie and Claire, who call it sacrilegious. Not a twitch, the bayonet-wielding red coat confirms. Jamie and Claire are allowed to drive away and the screen goes black. That's all, Seth it next. So who was under that blanket? Book readers will obviously know, but we aren't spilling for now. E.W. was on set last fall when Belf and Who fan were shooting one of those night scenes on the horse-drawn carriage. The location was about an hour outside Edinburgh in an ethereal, outdoor setting that was meant to double as a Carolina forest. Before the camera strolled, Who fan practiced steering the cumbersome wagon while a grip laid down some smoke to give the scene some atmosphere. And boy, was it nicky. Sunday teaser served two purposes for starts. It helped to make Drucklander a little less painful since the series won't return until this fall and it no doubt prompted a lot of New York and New Jersey fans to call and complain to Optimum, which recently dropped starts in a carriage dispute. Who fan and Belf, as well as executive producers Ronald D. Moore and Merrill Davis, tweeted messages encouraging fans to make their voices heard. Meanwhile, Starks has yet to order future seasons of Outlander but Starks CEO Chris Eldred recently told reporters that he's having productive discussions about the future of the show with Sony TV, which makes the series. I wouldn't worry too much about that, Eldred said when asked about a possible renewal of the time-traveling drama. He reminded reporters who gathered Friday for the annual Television Critics Association that Diana Garbalton has written eight books in the Outlander series and has a ninth on the way. We have joined the legions of fans of Outlander around the world, he said.